hello friends so in this video i am going to show you how you can fix the laravel error which is property name does not exist on this collection instance so this error here name could be anything it may it might be name id mobile number email address etc basically this name is the name of column in your database table that you are trying to access so here name could be anything okay in my case i am trying to access name from the database table here you can see i am trying to access this name from the database table users so here it is saying property name does not exist in your case it might be anything property id does not exist property email does not exist property address does not exist okay so got it so in my case the error is property name does not exist on this collection instance so i will show you first of all when you will face this error and why you face this error after this i will tell you how you can fix this error okay so basically here i have a query i have a simple query i am trying to access from the users table i am trying to access the record where email is this and password is this okay i want to get a record or a user where the email address is this and password is this okay so when this query execute it will return something and i will store the result in users variable okay so now if i try to print users name okay if i print if i try to print user name so this line is the cause of the error which is saying property name does not exist in this collection instance because here i am trying to access name if i try to access email from the database here so now it will say property email does not exist you can say it is saying property email does not exist so this line is the cause of the error so why you are facing this error because because here this is the important thing listen carefully because this query is returning an collection here in error you can also say see uh, collection instance the uh, property email does not exist on this collection it means this query is returning an instance instance means you can consider like uh, an array or you can consider collection of records collection of records because this is the query this is a query it might be it might return more than one records in our case it is returning single record but it might return collection of record means more than one records so this is returning an collection a collection okay collection means you can think as a array or collection of record so if it is returning an collection so you cannot access email or name like this because it is returning an instance means the collection of record so if first if i print users if i simply echo users and if i run this query again so now you can say you can see what it's returning basically it's returning collection of record here you can see uh, here you can see uh, uh, it's returning a record because in our case uh, there might be a single record which uh, fulfill the conditions so here it's re returning a single record inside square brackets you can say inside square brackets if it returning it if it returns multiple records it might record it might return multiple records so here uh, single records inside curly brackets comma another record comma another record so it might it might be uh, here might be more than one records okay but in our case it's returning single records so the problem is it's returning an array 
array no, uh, uh, it's not array it's a collection but in simple word i can say it's returning an array array means collection of records okay so you cannot access you cannot access email like this because it's returning an array it's returning an collection so if for first record you have to use zero index comma for second if if there if there will be uh, a second record or third record so you have to you have to use 0 1 2 3 index like this 0 1 2 so in our case there is only one record so i will use zero index so i will use zero index means like this zero if i run it again so now you can see it's returning single record not an array and now you can see the square brackets has gone now it's not collection it's not a record it's a single record it's a single object so now you can use name or email like this so now you can write like this now if i try to run it again now you will see the error has gone and it's printing it's returning the email if i use here name so no problem it will print the name okay so now you have seen the error has gone why this error has gone because now i am writing the correct syntax so this is the correct syntax of accessing the name or email not this is the uh, this is not the correct syntax because it's returning collection it's returning multiple records in our case it might be there is only one record but it's returning a collection it's returning like an array so you have to use indexing 0 1 2 like this so user 0 means first record in the collection and after that you can use any property name email address id mobile number so this is the cause of the error so i hope you have fixed this error and the problem is gone for you also and if you like the video you can like the video and comment on the video and you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos like this so thank you for watching this video have a nice day and bye bye take care